Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about SCM version details. We will cover SCM console version, client version and the site version. We will cover the major build versions, minor build versions and then build version, even revision version we are going to cover. So there are different segregation in the version number of SCM and we will cover the branding changes in SCM as well. What is the official name for SCM at this point of time and what was the original name of SCM when it got released back in 1994 etc. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. What are the different versions of SCM and how we can understand the versions in a better way what is the history of the product names in SSCM and what are those numbers in the client version, console version, the site version. We are going to see all these things in this particular video. Let's clearly state that as per Microsoft, the official name for on-prem device management solution, Microsoft Configuration Manager. This is when I am recording this particular video, but this is the current name and the official name for aka SCM. So I will use in this video different names probably. I will use SCM and config manager probably sometimes. All these are referring to Microsoft configuration manager. SCM is not an official name for the product from Microsoft. This product had gone through a lot of evolutions or product name changes. It was Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager initially for 2007-2012 versions. It changed to Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. That is nothing but MEM, CM. As part of Intune product family, the name got changed again to Microsoft Configuration Manager. From my perspective, this name makes more sense. Even though it is part of Intune family, they didn't try to add Intune into this. This is very clear. This should be for all the customers who are using. It is Microsoft Configuration Manager, aka SCM. And the first version of SCM was SMS, System Management Server. We will see those details in the coming slides. So this is the history of SCM. It's all started with SMS 1.0 and the build version 1. something. The next version was SMS 2.0 that was system management server and the build version was 2. Point something. SMS 2003 Microsoft system management server 2003. The version number for that was 3. Point something. And then they released SCM 2007. That is where SCM came into picture. At that time, SCM was part of System Center products. So that is why it was named as Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, as you can see over here. The version number was 4. Point something. The release of SCM 2012 or current branch. Version number of SCM is 5 point something and the official name of SCM at the moment is Microsoft Configuration Manager. SMS 1.0, SMS 2003, SCM, Microsoft Configuration Manager. Let's understand the versioning of SCM now. This is the version details followed by Microsoft for SCM or Configuration Manager. As you can see over here, it all starts with 5. That is the version number 4, current branch. And the next one is minor, minor build. This is the major version and this is the minor version. The next one is minor and you can see as per the picture, it is 0, 0. And over here in the picture, could see only 1, 0. There could be difference. Sometimes it is referred as 1, 0. Other times, it is referred as 2.0, the minor version. 9.1.2, that is the build version you can see in this particular screenshot. So for each and every version of SCM current branch, this number will get changed. 
this is the version number for 2303 that is the latest version of configuration manager product available in production for the previous version you can see a build number over here 8968 that was the build number for the previous version of SSEM for SSEM 2303 this is the build number and revision number will get changed every time Microsoft releases a new hotfix in the fast string mostly the revision number will be 1000 and in the slow ring then it widely releases to all the online connected SSEM infrastructure without using PowerShell script then the version number will normally change I don't know 1005 or something for every version it depends on the bug fixes and hot fixes included in that slow ring version of SSEM after installing cumulative update or roll up update this version number will get changed maybe that will become 1100 or something like that within one build version there would be different revision versions this is the place where you can check the version details in the registry you can go to local machine software Microsoft SMS and setup you can see a full version details over here and the value is full version and you can see the build version revision build number revision number etc etc sometimes this is also useful and you can see different build numbers for different SSEM versions 1906 the build number was 8853 2103 the build number was 9049 it is important to understand the client version details again it follows the same pattern the structure is same major is common for all the current branch releases minor version it is most of the time it is 00 and build number changes for every release of configuration manager or SSEM and the version number also frequently changes for every hotfixes related to SSEM client some hotfixes are only applicable for the server component of SSEM then in that case the revision number for the client won't get changed hotfix applicable for server and client then obviously the version number will get changed where you can find the actual version number from the client side you can go to control panel and search for configuration manager able to open this configuration manager applet and over there if you go to this particular portion you would be able to see the client version over here console version of SSEM is bit tricky not tricky but the structure of console version is different than the client version and the site version let's take an example to understand this okay, so this is the console version which we are talking about 5.2303 that is the console version now let's try to break this down see this is the site version okay and the console version is this one site version for 2303 is this and console version for 2303 is this it is different it is not following the build number for console it is a different build altogether different revision number the minor version for the console the SSEM side version that is 2303 in this case so what is 23 23 is the year and 03 is the month of release so that is the mini version of console and build version is also different as I mentioned before and the revision version will get changed for every hotfix where console updates are available now that you have learned about SSEM versions so if you are still working on SSEM continue working on that but don't stop your learning there this is very important for all the SSEM admins to understand that SSEM is still there and it is fully supported many organizations are using it but from a technical perspective it is time to learn in tune this picture is accurately mentioning about the situation if you stay back in SSEM forever this 
picture actually represents the situation you will be in if you still don't want to learn as in tune or any other new technologies you should start learning in tune i will attach 11 hours of in tune training video training course over here if you click on the i button in youtube you would be able to see that video if you stand still in sscm with sscm technology and you don't learn anything new then what i have seen is most of the organizations are moving to in tune difficult for you to get into better jobs so learning sscm is always good it is the basic thing start learning in tune as well and prepare for the future again i know it is a painful process to learn new technology but that is how the life is now that you have seen all the details about sscm version numbers now you know what does major minor build revision number in sscm version and it would be easy to understand the versioning now and build sql queries dashboards to make it easy for you to manage the sscm client also we have talked about learning in tune and that is important for your career etc so hope this video was helpful to you thank Thank you all for watching see you around bye bye